just arrived to Weatherby's camps and are checking in at our cabin that we'll be staying in for the next couple of nights. The Wren, it's really cute, so come check it out. There's a great screened in porch here with a bunch of firewood overlooking beautiful fall trees. Inside, we have the living room with a wood burning stove that we are going to fire up immediately because it's cool now and will definitely be much cooler later. Our bedroom, they provide electric blankets that we will probably throw on if it gets chilly like predicted later. And then a simple bathroom. We're gonna bring our stuff in, get nice and settled for the evening, and then head up to dinner in the lodge at six. See you there. Hey, friends of Maine the Way. I'm so excited to be here in Grand Lake Stream up in the easternmost corner of Maine. We're actually working on a project that is top secret. Just kidding, I mean, you will find out about it, but it's really a dream come true of a project. So we're, we're really excited for that. Since we're here, we can still share all the awesome adventures and we're gonna go fly fishing and do some other, you know, things up here. But yeah, we'll take you along with us. I've never been to this corner of the state. It's kind of like the last frontier of the Maine wilderness for, that, for us to explore. So um, I am going to go explore the grounds and then pop down to the lake and dinner is at 6 p.m. tonight. All right, exploring Grand Lake Stream for the first time. Our hut, the Wren, is just through the woods there. I'm on Middle Path. Oh, and I found Cam. He was out on a run. So we'll rendezvous shortly. I feel like the best way to get a sense of a place is to take a walk, or if you can, take a run or a bike or a paddle or really anything. Oh, to sit on this bench. Oh my gosh, this is just magic. Um, but it's just gorgeous and I think we're gonna pop out on the lake soon. So I will see it for my first time alongside you. the night before fly fishing. We're headed out early tomorrow morning with Keaton, the daughter of Jeff, and we're really excited. We heard some legendary stories at dinner, but yeah, we're just tucked in in our little cabin. The fire was roaring all afternoon, so it's nice and cozy in here. And we just finished dinner up in the lodge, um, which was delicious. Started with some dinner rolls and soup, and then they brought out grouse that somebody had caught today, and it was prepared really nicely. I normally don't get too excited about game when in Rome, I guess. So that was fun to try. And then they had some really yummy chicken, rice and veggies, and a delicious blueberry cobbler. So definitely feeling well fed. Excited for coffee and breakfast tomorrow. I'm sure it'll be cool in the morning. I hope to do a good job taking you along with us tomorrow. We'll see how it all plays out, but maybe there'll be fish involved. So today's activity is fly fishing. And I've done it a couple times over the years. My dad was much more of a spin caster. But my favorite thing about fishing in general is just the meditative practice of it. There are already some people out on the river this morning before breakfast, before the sun. And you can see why. Yeah. How was that? Yeah. 
We just got to the river. The colors are popping off and the water is so clear. Sam's already casting. Got some other anglers in. Can't wait to get out there. Good start. All right, there's a fish. Not sure if it'll show up in the video. So real. Um, there's a fish right here. I think you can, I feel like you can see it. Maybe you can't. It's like right there above the rock. And I see what they mean about getting addicted to this sport because now that I see it, I want it. And we're putting on a different fly to try and catch it. So. Fingers crossed, cause it's so close. That's okay. Woohoo! Yeah, Cam. Oh, so nice. Popped right out. That's so cool. So that's a salmon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the best salmon I've ever caught. Very exciting. That was awesome. Got him with the nymph. We uh, just sight cast it to him. Wow. So there are three great fish sitting in front of the rock over there. A big, medium, a small. And we have been casting at them for the past number of minutes. Uh, no luck yet. Just got a fish on. Christine. So exciting. This is a female. Okay. Very silvery. Oh, it's so awesome. Oh, she's pretty. Just caught a salmon about 16 inches, this big female, um, using a little pheasant tail fly and nymph. Pheasant tail nymph. But yeah, very exciting. I feel like been a bit of a chase today which always makes the catch feel good. Whew, I got adrenaline. That was fun. <laughs> All right she's got another one on. He's fighting. Oh, oh that's a big one. Yeah, How long is that one? This guy. 18? Oh I'm making it up. I'd say it's 17. 17? I like it both 18. Hey, Number two catch of the day. Oh. Yay! You're just pointing his head towards me. You keep turning. There we go. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Thanks for a good time. So you just kind of let them take the lead from here. Yeah, exactly. We're leaving the river for a lunch break. It's such a funny sensation being in these waders because I almost feel wet, but I hope I'm not. But the boots are kind of like sloshing around. So we're gonna take these off and have a little picnic by the river, which sounds really delicious. Yeah. Fire's crackling. I'm gonna go fill up some water from the river for coffee. Oh, pretty spectacular. So here's the guide coffee, which has the grounds and a cracked up egg that you pour directly into the boiling water. 
and you know it's ready once all of the coffee grounds have congealed to the egg. <laughs> Thank you. And you can look in. You see it's all clumped up. That's kind of hard to see, but <laughs> Sweet. Delicious lunch that our guide Keaton prepared for us over the open fire on the side of the river. It was magical. And now we're headed down to the river. Fingers crossed for the afternoon of fishing. No fish here, although a couple of hits. Um, beautiful spot though. The fall colors are unbelievable, but we're pushing on to another location here. You're the best. If we lose it, that's fine. So we're just wrapping up today. Uh, we each ended up getting two fish, uh, two landlocked salmon apiece. Um, Christine's were a bit bigger, but who's counting? Uh, but man, it was awesome. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, just a gorgeous river, crystal clear water. Being able to sight cast was amazing. And it was really a treat being out here today. Like Cam said, we had an incredible day fly fishing. We had the best time and actually uh, caught some good fish. Um, today I caught two and I am so grateful for all of the help of Keaton, our guide. She did such a great job and was so helpful to have like in my ear when a fish was on the line, just being like, okay, like let it run, you know give it some slack, okay, reel it in, bring it over here. And that was awesome because my intuition is just to flail, <laughs> kind of like a fish out of water. So she killed it. We got four total, but then lots more of bites and sporty little um, runs. So that was really, really, really fun. And the sun is kind of dipping low. We're gonna take a little walk down to the lake before dinner and um, yeah, just enjoy this evening. Oh my God, it's been such a good day. Hey everyone, sorry for kind of going dormant on you. I didn't mean to, but we were so busy working on that top secret project, but no, it was an awesome day. I really can't complain. It's so beautiful up here. Conditions have just been supreme. I feel like I need to comment on this sick outfit. Huckberry sent us a bunch of swag for this trip, which is a dream come true. We have been fans of that brand forever. They just do the best job like storytelling and capturing the products that they sell in the wild. And it's such an honor to be at a place like this photographing for them. So yeah, we are just enjoying this time before dinner after a great day in the field. And I am going to grab a beer Ooh, from this cooler. We are taking some photos for Baxter as well. So they sent us up with a bunch of product. I might go with this one tonight, so cheers. We are packing up, loaded up the car and headed out now. It's been such an awesome couple of days up here. I've just loved all the different activities and surrounding. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll end the video now before we hit the road, head back to the Portland area and unload and everything. But I hope this all comes together well. But seriously, if there are things that you'd like to see from us or, you know, adventures or restaurants or accommodations or really anything around the state, please leave a comment because we've got lots of ideas, but want to sort of incorporate things that you'd be excited about. So please let us know. And um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, I guess. Um, thanks for watching. See ya.